Good morning and welcome to Coffee with Carl. I'm your host, Carl Carrington of Samson Properties, and it is my pleasure to be with you here today to discuss and answer any questions that you may have about real estate. For my last video, I spoke about the Montpelier Mansion and also I mentioned the Montpelier Arts Center. I'm very happy to have with me today and be able to speak with one of the artists that was in the last gallery showing at the Montpelier Arts Center. And that person is Mrs. Anita Carrington, my beautiful wife. I would like to thank you very much, dear, for joining me today. My pleasure. All right. Well, hey, please tell us about briefly how you started and uh, what you're doing now. Okay, I've always been an artist uh, since I was about four. I started to draw. Um, and I actually drew for a number of years and then laid off for about 20 years. And in September of 2019, I started to paint. I was interested, I'd seen something called core painting and became very interested and was actually fascinated by it. So I started to do core painting, but it was for me un environmentally unfriendly and I am trying to be a better steward of the environment. So I started to do abstract work. Okay. And what is it about abstract work that um, attracts you? Well, the thing about abstract is abstracts, it, uh, it allows the viewer to make the decision as to what they're seeing. Your energy can be conveyed in such a way that people feel the emotions that you had when you produced a certain work. Um, and I'll give you a couple of examples actually. Here's an example of a poor painting. All right, this one is called Maui. Okay, got you. It looks like it's got a little bit of the volcanic uh, eruption and the water there. Correct. Mm -hmm. And when I talk about emotion, here's a work that is called When Chickens Come Home to Roost. When this particular work was created, I had... <laughs> There was something going on politically that I wasn't happy with. And it looks like it. This is the end result. Got you, got you. All right. And can you tell us a bit about the uh, picture that's behind you there? This picture is called Enigma. Um, it, for me, symbolizes strength. Uh, when it comes to being a woman and a woman of color. Um, it just has that powerful sense of being. You notice her piercing stare and the wing behind her, which, you know, I, I is a symbol of the angel that supports each and every one of us, whether we recognize it or not. And it's just, for me, it, it represents power. Okay. All right, that's very nice, very nice. And that's about, uh, what, a uh, four by three? Four foot by three foot? Uh, three by four. Three by three four. four. Okay, very good. Um, and uh, can you talk about art and homes and how art uh, can help beautify homes? Well, the one thing that I think everyone needs to recognize is that art never has to match your decor. Art is actually something that should give you a sense of whatever, what it should speak to you. Whether if this piece, I, I view art like nature. If you notice in nature, things just flow. And, and there are certain environments that you're in where you feel very comforted or whatever, or it's a piece, like if you have a, an area that you want to be zen, if there's a piece that you see and that piece speaks to you and says, and makes you feel calm, 
I would say go for it. Some people are enamored with beach scenes. Other people like uh, water, you know, ocean. Um, some people like to see themselves. So, you know, buy something that has figurative works in it. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't necessarily have to match. But a, a, many people buy their artwork to match their furniture, which really limits your selection. You may be in love with a piece and and say, I can't buy that because it doesn't match the room. I don't I don't live like that. Don't subscribe to that. And I can attest to that. Um, but but, <laughs> but um, okay, well that's good. Those are good um, things, but it can make a statement in the room. And that's what Absolutely. you can do. As Absolutely. Well. And you can build you can build an entire room around a piece of art or a pe one piece of furniture is where it all starts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I would like to thank you very much for your time and taking the time to uh, speak with us today about your art and about what art can do uh, to help enhance a home. And uh, again, just thank you so very much for taking the time to uh, uh, talk with us here today. My pleasure. All right. And again, everyone, um, if you would like to get in touch with Anita, how, how would someone get in touch with you? Uh, my phone number is 301-395-4234. Okay. And they can either call or text you. Is that the best? Yes, either. Okay. Very good. Um, so, and again, I'm Carl Carrington with Samson Properties. My office number is area code 240-630-8689. And my direct cell phone number is 301-537-2251. I look forward to being able to work with you to help make your real estate dreams come true. And I hope that you have a wonderful day today. Again, Anita, thank you very much and have a wonderful day, everyone. Oh, I forgot to say, please click and subscribe below.